Zurich, beginning of February 2008. Three armed and masked thieves rob an art museum and make off with four oil paintings by Edgar Degas, Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet, and Paul Cezanne, worth over 180 million Swiss francs. Within a short time, the news spreads around the world. Newspapers, radio, and television stations all report on the largest art theft in Swiss history and one of the most spectacular ever in Europe. Journalists pose the first questions. Who are the robbers? What are their motives? And above all, where are the stolen pictures? The police offer a reward of 100,000 Swiss francs for relevant information. Two weeks after the robbery, an initial success. Two of the pictures surface in the back seat of a car. Still missing is the most valuable of the artworks, the boy with the red vest by Paul Cezanne. The value of this painting alone is estimated at almost 100 million Swiss francs. The police remain in the dark, and the media report about anything connected with the robbery. Even fortune tellers try to help get investigators on the trail of the boy with the red vest. Then suddenly, a major clue. A curious video comes to light on YouTube. Two masked men are to be seen hanging the missing Cezanne picture on a wall. Immediately, the mysterious culprit video spreads out across the net. Within hours, the first news reports appear online. Bloggers begin to speculate what's up with the video. Thousands saw the clip on YouTube. Shortly thereafter, the first press report appears in the Swiss tabloid papers. Within a short time, the clip was the most watched one of the week. In the evening and on the next day, the mysterious clip with the two masked men was the topic of discussion in all media. Across the country, people puzzled over it. What are the art thieves trying to say to us in the Cezanne clip? Do they want ransom? Are there clues that could put police onto their scent? Zurich criminal investigators make it officially known that they will include the video in their inquiries. At the high point of the speculation, the secret was revealed. In Switzerland's most read newspaper, readers learn who's behind the video, namely a poster shop that sells deceptively genuine looking reproductions of famous artworks. But who was hiding under the nylon mask? It was two advertisers. They filmed a Cezanne art print and placed it on the internet at minimal cost. The effect is enormous. All media that reported on the video also give an account of the resolution. In the country's largest newspaper, the advertising action reaches millions of readers. Online news sites place the film on their websites and receive overwhelming hit rates. Television first shows the faces behind the coup. The trade press provide background. Even newspapers and blogs that hadn't climbed on board the Trojan take up the topic. The enormous publicity makes the Art Poster Gallery the most well-known art shop in Switzerland within a very short time. Website visits increase by an order of magnitude. And all this from an idea that cost little more than 90 Swiss francs for the deceptively genuine-looking art poster.